Wildfires are getting so big and wildfire seasons are lasting so long that they're now impacting Earth's climate. Scientists from NCAR and Boulder used last year's bushfires in Australia as evidence. We were really surprised. You know, this is the first time that we've seen a global scale climate response to wildfires. Climate scientist John Pasulo says the bushfires lasted six months from November 2019 to April 2020 and burned 46 million acres. That would cover three quarters of the state of Colorado. They mimicked a major volcanic eruption, you know, one of these big eruptions that happens every 30 years or so um, because there was such such an intense pulse of emissions into the atmosphere. Fasulo says the southern hemisphere has cleaner air and less clouds compared to the northern hemisphere. The smoke particles from the bushfires helped form more clouds, which in turn reflected more solar radiation. He says that cooled the climate by close to a tenth of a degree Celsius. Uh, and so we got this big cooling pulse in our simulations in response to the wildfires because of the way that clouds actually changed. It wasn't the ash so much, but this kind of modification of the cloud microphysics. Fasulo says the bushfires may also be partially to blame for the lack of snow in Colorado this winter and possibly the coming winter because our winter weather circulations originate in the oceans of the southern hemisphere. So the suggestion from our results, and one of the reasons why they're important, is it seems to link the wildfires to the La Nina that we had last year, and that's going to continue into this winter. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.